Excellent. All right. So we'll start with uh, looking today at those seven pillars of a mentally wealthy workplace. Now this is in your manuals, but there's not a lot of writing in your manuals around this. So if you've printed it off, grab a pen, make as many notes as you like, um, take screenshots of the screen if you need to. Um, but the seven pillars of a mentally, work, mentally wealthy workplace are built on the concept of the ancient buildings in Rome and Greece, where we have um, multiple pillars, multiple columns that help the structure maintain its integrity. So that even if one of those pillars or two of those pillars began to sort of erode, the other pillars would help to maintain the integrity of the structure. So you may not be able to implement all of these strategies straight away, but think about which of these can you begin to do immediately. Now, the first pillar is the pillar of we, not you, or us, not us and them. So when we consider this pillar, what we're thinking about is that canary in the mine. Now, years ago, miners used to take a canary into the mine with them in a cage. And what was the purpose of the canary? Who can tell me? What was the purpose of the canary? So the, the job of the canary was the early warning detection signal, wasn't it? It was to give an indication either by it stopped its normal behaviour, which was to chirp away, or it died. And that was the early warning signal to the miners that there was some kind of toxic fume in the mine. Now, if those, those miners would have said, Oh, somebody give the canary a concrete pill so it can harden up, you know, <laughs> or they'd say, oh, what are the psychs doing? Can they please recruit tougher canaries? But we can't do that. That would be pointless. That would, there would be no point having that diversity in their team. Um, so the canary actually served a very, very valuable purpose in its sensitivity. It was an early warning signal for the mines, just as we have our own canaries in the workplace. These are the people that are just generally more sensitive than the rest of the workplace. They, they're on that extreme. They're on the edge where there's fewer people that are like them, but they're still just a human with a human range of emotion. But they will become more sensitive to stresses in the work environment sooner than others. Now, instead of judging the canary, we need to look at what's in the environment that could be creating additional um, stress on that more sensitive individual. Now, the, the miners, of course, said, we'd better get out of this mine or we'd better try and stop the leak before we're all affected by what's um, put the canary to sleep. Same with our workplace. Rather than thinking of it as an us and them, we need to recognise that we are all part of a whole and there is diversity in the team and we recognise the value in having the really extremely tough people at this end, but we can't all be like that. And we also recognise that there's benefit in having diversity at the more sensitive end as well. So the canary in the mind is a valuable concept to hold on to. And so we move from um, themness and otherness to us and we as a community. And we don't think of them as separate to the rest of us. It is the we, our community, our environment has something that we need to examine. And it's not always a workplace issue. I, I, I um, acknowledge that but it's always worthwhile examining. If somebody is struggling with the extensive work hours because there's had to be a period of um, overtime, if, if something isn't changed, then perhaps in a couple of days or maybe a couple of weeks, the entire workforce could be experiencing similar symptoms as the canary. So we want to adopt, adopt a an approach of that collaborative, compassionate curiosity with every member of our workforce and develop a framework 
which encompasses the well-being of every member of the team. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week, so when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.